So we'll start with Esby first walk in the door. I have this little like corner here which currently has like basically I have too many shoes so I had to put some shoes down here. It's got my running trainers which I just reach for and wear frequently anyway. Another pair of heels. It's also got my tripod, a couple of bags. Like these are like my going out bags um, and clutches and then also my friend's first bag. And then as we move along we have my wardrobe which is slightly smaller than last year like in terms of space like like in terms of space and what's inside it is slightly smaller um but i have a very full wardrobe as you can see um i don't need to talk you through it but it's in an order i understand what's going on in it don't worry um and then i've got all of my shoes at the bottom as you can see i have a bit of an issue with shoes i have too many seeing as i can't put them all in my wardrobe um, I also then have another section up here which just has like my skirts, um, which also just has like my skirts, another mattress, um, oh my god what's the word, another sheet for my bed and then all of my running clothes are just here and then I've also got like my hoodies at the back and then also knitwear at the back as well. So that's what my wardrobe is currently looking like. It is it's not a mess like I understand what's going on in it it sort of goes like blouses tops bodies trousers and then skirts and a couple more jackets in here because I also have a jackets obsession but that's what you see as you walk in and then there's also some like storage up the top here and in there there's just I say more knitwear like jumpers and things and my pajamas and towels and tea towels not very exciting stuff but stuff that I need and I also have to stand on my tippy toes to reach into it because I'm short. And then moving along, we now have my desk. So this like first corner is like my favourite corner. I've got, I have no idea what this is called. Like the little, where it says, um, oh my goodness. You guys, this is meant to say new home and it says home new and I've only just noticed. I'm an absolute muppet. Anyway, I'll change that around. So I've got my first set of Polaroids. Um, this is like my mum, my dad and my mum. And then some pictures of me and the girls, me and Soph. And then I've also got my like pen pot. So I have one for my biros and then one for my art pens. And I've also got some fake flowers in a pretty vase just to make my room look a bit prettier. Um, and I also can't keep real flowers alive. So that's that. And then my first shelf up here is sort of a bit of a mismatched shelf, but it's like the lowest down, so I have to make use of it because I can't reach the other one. Um, but I just have like my knitwear file, my um, file with all my important documents. I've got some of my Vogue magazines, my diary, and then also some pictures of me and Soph. Um, I should point out that most of the pictures you... I should point out that most of the Polaroids that you're going to see are of me and Soph because we take a lot of selfies um, and I just wanted to have nice ones up in my room, hence why most of them are of me and Soph. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got some more Polaroids of me and Soph and then I've got all of my like body mists, um, a set of shampoo and conditioner, some toothpaste and things like that and hairspray, like miscellaneous beauty stuff and that's on my first shelf. And then moving up to my second shelf, I have a set of... Um, reed diffusers which are actually from asda and top tip if you're looking for cheap reed diffusers asda is the place to go because they were so cheap i've then got my nice perfumes my nice marble clock which i would love to tell you where it's from but i cannot remember and then my fruit bowl because i don't trust that to be in the kitchen and then nail polishes and then there's like a makeup bag um full of like jewellery and stuff. I know you're probably all wondering why there is a fruit bowl in my room and why I don't just keep it in the kitchen but the reason for that is because I don't trust it in the kitchen because I can't fit it in like my cupboard so I don't want it out on the side which is why I just pop it in my room and then no one can take any of my fruit. Not that they would anyway but I'm not saying that's what my flatmates would do but I just like it in my room and then it's easy access just for me to snack on. And then moving down to the first set of drawers I don't actually, I still haven't quite remembered like I still haven't quite remembered like what's in each drawer so um the first one oh okay so this is my first set of like art supplies so in here i've got like sketchbooks notebooks pencil case glasses case and then there's like more what else is in here cutting mat and things like that this one is then my beauty drawer full of like smellies and that's just full of like smellies and general like beauty stuff and then the one below that is my underwear drawer, so I'm not going to show you that because you don't need to see it. Um, 
and then then moving on to my actual desk so I've got my purse out on my desk which obviously is normally in my bag with me and then this is my weekly planner so I just write down what I'm eating that week my gym class is when I'm training and then it also and then that also normally has my university timetable on it but currently as I'm filming this I haven't got my university timetable yet so I don't can't write that on there basically just yet um and then I've got my yearly planner in here which is perfect oh god which is perfect because it's like a day to day it's like a page a day per page so I can write myself like a to-do list and it keep on top of things my big ass bottle of water because I'm a thirsty hoe and then I've got my laptop and then moving along I also have a Tesco's food magazine because I also have a Tesco's food and then moving along I have my keys and then my shopping list um, notepad that's what I'm looking for and then my phone I've also got a Tesco's I've also got a Tesco's magazine there because um, just for like meal ideas if I'm feeling adventurous and want to not make pasta for once that's there for me to use and then just above my desk I have my pin board so I've just got some a couple of like um, photo booth pictures here of like me and mum this is on my 16th birthday and then me and you have that you're gonna have to excuse my face but this is in revs in brighton with the girls um on my 19th birthday and then up here i've got all of like another and then up here i've just got like another set of polaroids and these are actually on like fairy lights so when i switch them on in the, in the evening it looks so cute but yeah there's just loads of pictures like me and my pals me and my family me and soph truck festival and yeah this and yeah my pin board tends to get full very quickly anyway with like project briefs things to do so I'm sure once I go back to university that will be very full and then moving down to like the last corner of my desk I just have my docking station my iPad student ID and then I keep my camera well my camera's out because I'm vlogging which if you didn't know you should be you should blah, blah, which if you didn't know I'm now weekly vlogging now I'm back at university so keep up to date with those um and then on the other side of my desk I also have another set of drawers again I'm not entirely sure what's in these okay so this one is full of wool uh, 10 points to anyone who can guess what I'm studying this year if you're new um and then this is like wires chargers I've got two makeup palettes in here because I didn't really know where else to keep them so and then, and then the other drawer is actually empty at the moment. So that is my like desk space. It's actually quite a good like a, like a reasonable amount of space. Last year it was slightly bigger, but it was a different shape, so it wasn't as convenient. But I have more like shelf storage this year, which is good. And then under my desk, I just have my lovely rose gold bin. I have some classy kitchen towel and. Um, all-purpose spray and then I've got also under my desk is another bin full of 5p bags because I can't be bothered to pay for them all the time and then also and then also another bag for my laundry bag because I don't actually have a I don't actually have a laundry basket so I'm using a laundry bag just a Tesco's bag for life and then some more storage space next to my desk is this little cubby hole type thing and it's just got my washing up liquid nothing too exciting um and then and then onto my windowsill we have some more polaroids this is more like my family polaroids i say that and there's one of me and my friends there um but there's polaroids along here from holiday like mum and dad my brothers things like that and then i've got these cute um like milk jug type jug things milk <laughs> these cute like milk jugs that just have rose gold fairy lights in again when they're lit up at night they do look really again when they're lit up at night they look really cute and really nice um unfortunately one of the batteries is broken in them at the moment so i'm gonna have to get myself some more but again they look really nice when they're lit up at night so that's like the general desk area like i say there's a lot of storage a lot of places to put things and then i'll move on to like the last sort of like storage area type thing and then i'll move on to like the last and then I'm just going to move on to like the last storage area type thing. So I've got this like, uh, I think it's like a bedside cabinet, which I was originally going to put by my bed, but it doesn't actually fit. 
it's got some more polar of me and Soph and then I've just got my sewing box up here another reed diffuser um, and then I've just got some like vitamins and stuff and then and then opening this drawer here I've got all of my like hair appliances straighteners curlers etc and then moving down into this bit here I've got my camera I've got my two makeup bags another like toolbox type thing with some and then another toolbox type thing with some like m threads and random bits and bobs which didn't fit in my sewing box and a hairdryer so that's like that little bedside table which ideally like I said would go next to my bed but I can't actually fit it there without the door not opening and then I've just got my era and another bag full of wool down there and a cheeky full length mirror which I've also got some fairy lights around I'm not entirely sure if you can see that um but yeah and a cheeky a nice full length mirror which is perfect for like outfit photos <laughs> we love a fashion queen and then turning around we have lastly my bed which is definitely an upgrade from a bed at home because it's a nice big double bed here and at home I only have a single bed single like me we love that um and my bedding if anyone asks is from Primark but it's about a year old and then I've just got my nice pillows behind it one that says gin and bear it which is just me and then that was actually of my own dog my own dog actually of my dog from home which is really cute and then I've just got my two childhood well and then I've just got my childhood teddy and then also Hugsy which if you're an OG friends fan which if you are an OG friend which if you are an OG Friends fan, you will know what Hugsy is. So credit to you. Um, and then I just got another ball of wool, shock. And then next to my bed, I basically have a suitcase which is full of um, art supplies. Because basically I have a lot of art supplies um, and need multiple places to put it in. So I've like dotted them around in drawers and things. And then I've also got the suitcase full of art supplies. And then behind my bed, I basically just have two portfolios. And then we're back around to my door where I have an excessive amount of jackets and my university bag. So yeah.